Norwegian man now identifies as a disabled woman and says he uses wheelchair almost all the time. Almost? Hey everybody, I'm Devin and this is my beautiful bride Amber. We're a married, interabled couple here to reveal or remind you that you're complete in Jesus Christ alone. I just remember it's the whole thing. Do you want? To? Nah. So what's the topic of the day, baby cakes? An interesting topic. Yes. So before we get into this very strange article. Yes. I think we should talk about this body identity integrity disorder. Yes. Just for a second. In general, like not specifically this article. So I think whenever this comes up and we have people like talking about like intentionally making themselves disabled or uh, even living their lives as if they are disabled, I think it's easy for actual disabled people such as myself to get offended at that, mm -hmm. which I get it. I totally get it, <laughs> but I think in general, I, we should just not have compassion and sense, like affirm what they're doing is yes. correct. Like, obviously there's, this is wrong. <laughs> um, but that's the point. Something's not right here. Like, how does a person get to the point where they feel like they need to hurt themselves in some way. Like, that's got to be kind of a miserable experience. Yeah. To actually feel like I should have been born without this ability that I do have. Like, something's not right there, and these people do need to be met with compassion. They need um, help. <laughs> you know, they need some counseling, some something, some spiritual help. Honestly, they need the gospel. Yes. You know, like something is deeply wrong here. So I just wanted to say that up front, that I think instead of being offended at, well, they have to have a lot of privilege to mm -hmm. intentionally want to be disabled, yeah, but also something's wrong here. So Yeah, something's wrong with like the... The spiritual side of it. Yes, right. Yeah, exactly. Like, I honestly think sometimes it can be like a demonic sort mm -hmm. of thing, like a satanic, you know, they're being told these lies, you know. So it's a, it's a deep issue. <laughs> yes, it's not so. just someone choosing to be. Well, I think sometimes it could just be people... Well, some people could also be doing it for atten attention. Atten yeah, like, it can be a whole host of things. Yes. So, I think we should not pretend that we know what's going on in their mind. Alright, so now let's get into this Art specific. <laughs> yeah. Article, yes. This yes. is specific situation. Yes, so, as we said the title earlier, Norwegian man now identifies as disabled woman uses wheelchair in quotes almost all the time <laughs> when did when did she not use when did she not use a wheelchair <laughs> right like i do know that there's people who use a wheelchair who don't need it all the time but then there's also many many people who like me i do use it all the time except if i'm laying down like, I just literally can't stand up. So, is he identifying as a specific type of wheelchair user who conveniently doesn't need to use it all the time? So, yes, there are wheelchair users who don't need it all the time because they can stand up. They do have some function left. But it's just very convenient that this able-bodied man gets to choose his level of impairment of ability here. Like, that's pretty convenient. I wish, like, a man, I wish I could have chose that. So, 
the disturbing thing I find about this story, I'm going to read this short little paragraph here. And the name, I think it's Alame. I don't know. I'm just going to say Alame, and I'm sorry if that's not the correct pronunciation. Give us grace. Yeah. So it says, in September, Alame confessed to some magazine that his identity as a disabled woman was sexually motivated. When the question of whether or not he was acting on an impulse to live out a sexual fetish was botched. Broached. Bro. There's a B-R. <laughs> yeah. And no T. Botched. Has a T in it. Broached as an R. Okay. Okay. <laughs> you want me to read it? Sure. When the question of whether or not he was acting on the impulse to live out a sexual fetish was broached, Almi replied, I do not know. Maybe so. So... And we'll have this article linked below. You can look at the whole thing. But this is what disturbs me. Mm -hmm. It seems like more than just, oh, I feel like I should be disabled, whatever. When you add this, like... Sexual corruption of the gospel? Yes. Thank you. Because that's what sex is supposed to represent. Christ in the church. Ephesians 5. Genesis, what, 2? Yep. Genesis chapter 2? Anyway, yes, that's exactly what this is. When you introduce a sexual fetish here, that's what I will allow myself to be offended at. Mm -hmm. Because that is disturbing. It's insulting. Because disabled people are already fetishized mm -hmm. by a lot of people which really that's a form of like objectification because instead of looking at us as a human being as an image bearer of god yes we're looked at as like just this uh, i don't even know because i don't even understand the demented mind yeah like I, I can't even describe how they look at us because I don't understand it, you know? And then what's worse is when we're fetishized so much, it gets in like other people's mind that if they are attracted to us, something's wrong with them. Yeah. And then you have like genuine relationships like me and Devin. And some people might look at that as like a fetish type of thing. When it's a real, genuine, not just relationship, but marriage. Yes. <laughs> so, um, and even from a secular point of view, um, disabled people that are secular would have an issue with this. Like, yeah. um, us being fetishized and, you know, just not even looked at as like a human being. Yep. Like, worthy of actual love. So that's what I have a problem with, <laughs> and particularly with this. Um, we could get into, like, uh, I, we obviously don't completely align with, like, Candace Owens. She is obviously coming from not a Christian completely, like, yeah. very, very extremely loose Christian. Christian perspective. But she made a video on this. It, almost like connecting it with the uh, transgender stuff. Um, uh, that's honestly not really what I'm worried about. Offended at here. Yeah. yeah. Like all of it is like corruption. I think even sometimes the transgender is a, could be a, related to like sexual. A fetish. Yeah. yeah. Some, I don't think it is every time. No. But yeah, sometimes. Um, and even like, yeah, I, there's just so much here, but yeah, the main thing I have a beef with is fetishizing disabled people instead of looking at us as a real human being, you know, um, 
and yeah, leading people to believe, oh, if I am attracted to this person, that means I have a fetish. No. <laughs> and I hope if you are disabled and offended at just the whole body integrity, identity disorder thing in and of itself, I don't want you to think, oh, Amber's like totally saying I'm wrong or whatever. No. Like, it, it's a, I get it. I really do get it if you are offended. I'm just saying, personally, I am not. I have a concern for the people who genuinely are struggling with wanting to hurt themselves. That's totally demonic. <laughs> yep. And they do need help. Mm -hmm. But the whole thing with this doing it for a sexual fetish or even whatever, like that is disgusting. And that's what I have a problem with. Do you have any other comments to say? Not really. This? You summed it up pretty early. <laughs> yeah, well, this video is basically my idea. Anyway. Yes. <laughs> if you found this video interesting or edifying, <laughs> edifying whatever, or I, I'm sure it wasn't very pleasant. No. You know? <laughs> not a pleasant topic no nope. <laughs> but uh please be sensitive in the comments but you're welcome to leave a comment if they get too awful i probably will turn them off but um yeah so like this video subscribe <laughs> it got stuck right there oh <laughs> If you feel led to support our ministry, the link is in the description below. Thank you for watching. The video you just saw was made by Fallible Christians. Although we diligently seek to represent the God of the Bible accurately, please understand that we are still being sanctified. For absolute truth, please refer to the Bible.